Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm here today sharing a super pretty layout for the Hip Kick Club. I've been challenged this week to do a layout with off cuts with my cut file. So here you can see I've picked this beautiful butterfly and I've selected the off cut button twice and then separated them down my page on the Silhouette Cameo software and cut it out. And I cut it out on the beautiful Heidi Swap Colour Fresh paper. And all I did was layer them up and adhere them together and puff their little wings up. And I had these beautiful, beautiful embellishments. Now, that butterfly is part of the free subscriber cut files. Uh, so if you uh, pop in, log into your account, I'm pretty sure they are January's cut files. So you can select those and have a go at these off cut you know having a bit of a challenge around layering up your cut files so I've got lots and lots of beautiful pretty things here which are from the March kits my April kit hasn't arrived yet but I'm super jealous of all you ladies that are already crafting with it but it's lots of public holidays here in Australia at the moment so things are a little bit slow but I can't wait to get my hands on it so here I am still playing around with these beautiful March kits and I've decided to uh, do this beautiful photo of my little girl who was scrapbooking at our table and I wanted to sort of really pretty it up. So the way of doing that is pulling out some of the mixed media products, doing some mixed media on the background and I end up adding a little, some touches to those butterflies just to make them super pretty there. Now, with this mixed media background, I was just playing around with some of the little shimmers pots that I'd gotten in the past kits. I didn't get the March colour kit, unfortunately, so I've drawn back into my stash and I'm just using a few different pots of shimmers from the last, probably in the last four months, and I am just creating this background using that card as a bit of a template because I knew I wanted to mount my photo on that, and I'm going to dry off between each layer. Now this is using the Basil Marshmallow cardstock so it's a heavier base cardstock designed to hold media but because I knew that I was going to be layering colour on top of colour I added a coat of clear gesso at the bottom of the like on to start and then I'm just adding my different layers of colour. So as you can see, I my colour is sitting on top. So I started out with the blue and now I'm adding the pink. And it's sort of sitting on top. It's not blending in and turning into a purple or a brownie colour. It's just sitting on top there. And that's the, that's the treasure. The treasure is in the drying off. And um, it, then you get to create a sort of a different, a different effect with lots of colours. As you'll see here, it just really pretties it up. And I look, don't get me wrong, I love blending colours, especially um, pink and yellow, and then I get that kind of orange hue through through it. I love I love mixing colours. But I thought for this layout, because I just wanted to like have pops of colour, I really just wanted them to sit on top of each other so you could really clearly distinguish there's tri colours there. As you'll see, I will roll on through and a lot of this will get covered up, but you'll really see it's under the foundation there and and it will and it all comes together. It just adds that little little bit of a treat. As you can see, I'm not doing anything technical. I'm just moving colour around with just like a cheapy paintbrush, no special paintbrush. I am just putting flicks of paint here and there and and it's as simple as that. It's it's not not complex. I'm not using any bagging technique, just playing around, moving it around. And the, that's the beautiful thing about applying colour dry, colour dry, is that you don't end up with a big brown mess when everything sort of blends together if you want to kind of play with your colours there. So I encourage you to have, if you've got these little pots of colour and you're a regular su subscriber to the colour kit, then I encourage you to try out what I'm doing here. And just look, even without any embellishments, if I just sit my photo and that card there, I know that it's going to look really pretty. Then I thought, oh, I'm going to tie some of that bluey kind of tone into some of the butterflies. And then I thought, oh, that's, that yellow has such a sparkle in it. That will look so pretty. So I'm just sort of prettying up those butterflies, sitting those, um, and I'm going to sit those aside to dry, pack away my pots of colour because I um, have a tendency to knock things over. <laughs> So, um, and then I'm going to sit those aside to dry while I think about my photo cluster. 
And that's where I come and use this beautiful Sunny Days paper. As you can see, I'd already done some fussy cutting there of some of those flowers. And then I was kind of wondering, do I tie in some of this navy dot as well? So you'll see me playing around with this. I don't end up doing it, but there's just something I love about this navy dot. I'm not sure whether it's just that off-white background, uh, but I just... I absolutely have just loved it. My last layout where I used a cut file um, and I, I modified it, I used that spot as a background on my on my page and oh boy, oh boy, I just love the way that layout turned out. If you flick back through my channel, you can see that layout. It's one of my most recent and I was challenged by the team to do a monochromatic layout so um, that was a really really fun one too so here I am just layering up my beautiful girl my my little dolly who loves to scrapbook which I'm so thankful for and I'm just layering that firstly to soften the edges with some tissue paper and then onto some of that pink sunny days paper as well that polka dot is on the back of the little parasol paper so if you've got some of that flick it over and you'll get there and just to create a little bit of texture I've sort of ruffled that it's only a thin border of tissue paper but I ruffled up the edges and it's not it's not much it's just a subtle little feature that means that I've got an extra layer there it's creating a bit of texture without taking over a huge amount of space so here you can see I really want that polka dot in here somewhere but it ends up going because Look, you can't go wrong with that. All that beautiful colour there. Um, and then I'm going to add these beautiful coloured butterflies and these flowers. And I have to say, this is probably one of the prettiest layouts I've done in a long time. And when I finished it, I was just delighted in the end result. And I rushed out and I showed my little girl and she loved it. She loved it also. So here I am. I just cut some main cluster uh, flowers out of that beautiful floral paper and just a few little teeny tiny ones. I wanted to, um, I'm not sure, I just wanted to make this really super girly and have have this really sort of focus on my little girl there amongst all this prettiness. I um. I just love those sunny days bows. The pink and the navy are, are just delightful. In I'm not sure where I got the, the black and white bows. I've got a set of those as well, but they just didn't seem to grab me like this. And so these little navy and pink, this colour combo must work for me because I've I've no, I have no hesitation in using it on a layout. And I know sometimes I balk at big bulky items like these bows and flare buttons and things like that. But I I don't know, this, this little lovely bow is just so pretty. I just couldn't resist but pop it on there somewhere. So here I am just using a wet adhesive just to put, like just to adhere the centre of the butterfly because I want those wings to pop up. And you'll find that because I added, well, if you decide to create these beautiful butterflies, if if you've added a little bit of the mixed media product on there, when it dries, it gets kind of crispy. So you can kind of roll those little delicate wings up and it, it tends to sort of pop up on its own. That little bit of um, mixed media on there also because some of those uh, shimmers products have a little bit of shine, it just gives it that nice little bit of sparkle that you need and, um, and just makes them a little bit more special. I just was playing around here with these clusters. I knew I just... I didn't want to like lose my girl in the in in the prettiness, um, so just making sure I'm putting some behind the photo, and then some on top of the photo. I'm puffing the wings up, but the third layer I'm inserting under there. So I'm really trying to look for ways of creating dimension in my layout, and 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 just unique ways of seeing something sort of come to life and that's if if that makes sense I'm I, I hope I'm making sense but it makes sense to me <laughs> um but yeah so I'm looking for ways just to really liven this up and and bring it to life and and yeah I'm thinking it's it, I'm, I'm really delighting in it so a little bit of foam adhesive behind some of those flowers but not behind all of them and as you can see my mixed media is sort of getting lost and hidden in there but there's those little bits peeking out that just have formed the foundation of the layout and just that add that special little bit of depth um, depth to the project 
there's that sweet little bow found its perfect little spot there on top of those clusters. I just love these exclusives by Kim Watson. I um I have a little bit of a confession to make. I ordered two main kits because every couple of months I buy my little girl a treat, which is a main kit from one of the subscriptions. And Oh dear, I um I ordered her a main kit of this, but when I saw this ephemera, oh, I, I slipped it out of her bag. <laughs> and so I have two packets of this cute, super cute ephemera. But then the other night I had some girlfriends come over and we're all scrapping at the table and Katie loves to join us. So she sat up the end there and she was looking for some embellishments and oh boy, oh boy, the guilt kicked in. And I went and got this packet of ephemera and I said, darling, look at these. And she loved them. So I, I thought I'm never doing that again. That guilt just killed me. <laughs> I'm just going to have to order three main kits whenever Kim puts a, 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 a pretty ephemera pack in, which I have a feeling we just, the May sneak peeks just came out and I think she's done it again. I'm going to have to order heaps of kits just to get all those exclusives. Um, she really has a style that sort of resonates with my scrapbooking and I love all her Project Life cards. I love her ephemera. I love her stickers, even her gorgeous puffy hearts. Well, these are little uh, epoxy hearts are just delightful. So, um, yeah, there's my little bit of scrappy confession, which actually Katie watches these videos, so I'm probably going to get myself into trouble. <laughs> But anyway, so here I am. I just, I'd finished this, but I had this little corner where it's this wonderful, and I just really wanted to make a little cluster. I was kind of thinking, I've got plenty of butterflies, I've got plenty of flowers. I would just love some piece of really nice ephemera just to sit on that corner. And, um, and I just couldn't, for a little while there, I couldn't find it. So I just thought, I'm just going to stick these little fussy cut flowers down there because I knew that the ephemera piece that I wanted would sit on there so it's just sort of once again looking for layers I saw this little camera and so I really struggled I played with this chipboard and there was this that cute little ice cream and the camera and I thought all righty oh, here I am I'm just going to make a little cluster of all little bits of sweetness some a couple of flowers a camera and ice cream so it's just a pile a little a little cluster of sweetness which emanated like it just shines my daughter's personality so I'm really glad that came together the way it did and is just a real little feature point on the layout I think when we're scrapbooking finding spots to put little feature feature spaces um, always just transforms a layout so have a go at doing that when you next put a layout together make a little cluster somewhere special and and just bling it up you know splurge on those eph eph uh, ephemera pieces and die cuts and hearts and things and make a super sweet layout so there you have it I wrapped up there um, pretty quick I think my camera died but um, I really hope that you have liked my video give me a big like uh, subscribe to my channel if you love my style and you're new um, and it would be wonderful if you could share it with your friends if you think that they would like to see how this layout came together all right take care guys bye